passing a law, the governor signing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone agrees that that is, is change that hadn't been seen up to now. What's it been like for you guys personally, though? Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's now it's into the political realm and now it's about policy. But it's about your school and about mm -hmm. students and, and classmates and teachers that you knew. It, it must be difficult to kind of have both of those things happening at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely difficult to balance. And we've seen a horrible side to our country that I didn't even, I wasn't really aware that existed. And I mean, we're here to change that. And the march that we're creating is a visual rep representation of how many people are here and with us for the change. It's a visual rep representation of how many people will be voting those people out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And of course, while there has been a dark, twisted, pathetic side of our country you've seen. The bi the most we've seen is support from people everywhere, people all walks of life, people reaching out to us, mm -hmm. victims, people who have lost family members in it's shootings, and there's a there's a unity here. There's everybody saying this isn't a, this isn't about politics. This is about being able to leave your house without worrying about being gunned down. Your message is, you want your message to be pure, and I know that's important to you guys, but you do get lots of donations from different types of people. How do you make sure that that stuff doesn't influence or change what you guys want to be doing? Well, I, I think we're very clear that when people donate to us, they are donating to the march and they are donating to our movement, and we don't accept influence. We appreciate everything we hear, and anytime somebody offers their help, we love to hear from them. But at the end of the day, the second we let corruption, greed, and money get involved with this in the wrong sense, we lose track of where we're going. Yeah, and politicians have tried to endorse us, but we're here to say, you guys can support us all you want, but we're in this for our, ourselves, and we don't want to let any adults take over because we're kids that created this whole thing, and we don't want to let the adults change that. This is uh, this. The, they've asked for our endorsements too. This isn't about. This is. There's politics involved, of course, because we need political change. But at the end of the day, this is people taking to the streets to say, we are afraid of getting shot no matter where we go. Movie theaters, airports, churches, this happens everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, Cameron and Jacqueline, we know you'll be out on Saturday. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. We appreciate it. We will take a turn now, go back over to Al and get a check of the weather. So much going on today, guys. We're looking at severe weather for 19 million people, especially in the southeast, Nashville, Birmingham, on to just west of Atlanta. All the way down to Jacksonville. Tomorrow that shifts along the southeastern Atlantic coast, including Orlando, up into Charleston for 11 million people. Plus, we've got the possibility of this nor'easter pushing in. Both models kind of bring that snow in here, but when all is said and done, the European model a little more aggressive about the snowfall totals. In fact, we're talking about, in the European model, the New York area all the way down to Washington, back to Pittsburgh, it's anywhere from six to nine inches of snow, and then heavy rain out west through Thursday, upwards of five to seven inches could cause flash flooding near those burn scar areas. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Good morning, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4, meteorologist Chuck Bell. High clouds already starting to move in a bit. It's a cold start on a Monday, but temperatures are on their way up. 27 now at Dulles Airport, already 38 in Washington, 31 currently in Gaithersburg. So as you're planning out your Monday today, clouds will increase. Afternoon highs today will be in the low to mid 50s. And then there's a chance for some snow the next couple of days. Our computer model says about two inches around town, probably six inches or more across much of the Shenandoah Valley. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that and staying chilly all week. And that is your latest weather. Hold up. All right, Al, thanks so much. What would you do if someone took something that was important to you? All right, Carson's in the orange room with what one woman is doing. It's lighting up social media. Hey, Carson. Riveting stories. You can see I'm <laughs> riveted by my orange room hit today. Guys, this is a good one. Amanda Needham noticed that her bike had been stolen, so she did something a little bit different. She decided to go bold with her response. Now, with the help of some cardboard, some yellow paint, she put together an 8 by 3 foot sign and posted it in front of her home nearby here in Brooklyn. Here's what it read right here. The sign reads, so the person who stole my bike, I hope you need it more than me. It was $200 used and I need it to get to work. I can't afford another one. Well, a few days later, Amanda's doorbell started to ring as several people stopped by to offer some support. Among them were two boys who generously gave her their mountain bike, which of course was fit for a teen, didn't fit her. Eventually, an art <laughs> dealer showed up at her door and bought the sign for $200, the exact amount she needed wow. for a new bike. Amanda's story was sharing online and the hashtag karma cycle really took off. We'll read some response. Sarah says, I love it. What a great way to...